Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis and this is for today Friday through Monday, August 7 to 10, 2020 and this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set, beginning today, Friday, August 7, until tomorrow, Saturday. We have a rapidly developing low pressure system, this is LPA94W and it's uh, currently developing some uh, 286 kilometers to the northeast of Catanduanes and this LPA has a higher chance of developing into a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours and this LPA is uh, currently quasi-stationary over to the northeast of Catanduanes and it will start to accelerate towards the north in the general direction of the southern islands of Japan within the next 24 to 48 hours so while the system is here we have an active monsoon trough connected to another LPA this is the weak LPA which crossed the southern portion of uh, Mindanao and passed along the uh, Palawan area and is now here to the west of Luzon in the middle of the South China Sea outside of the Philippine area of responsibility and this system together with 94W will now enhance the southwest monsoon and is now affecting the uh, West Philippine Sea including the Kalayana Island Group, Palawan, Sulu Archipelago, Western Visayas and Occidental Mindoro and this uh, wind system will start to strengthen once LPA 94W starts to move towards the north in the general direction of the southern islands of Japan. So this 94W will eventually become a tropical depression within the next 12 to 36 hours and it will be named locally as Enteng but the good news this weather system will not affect any part of the Philippine Islands as it moves towards the north but only the southwest monsoon will bring lots of rainfall in most parts of the country. We have here the uh, weaker version of the Habagat known as the southwesterly surface wind flow bringing also thunderstorms across portions of Mindanao and eastern Visayas as well as Bicol region and the northern sections of the Visayas while a monsoon trough is affecting uh, most parts of Luzon particularly the central and southern sections including Mata Manila so expect also some thunderstorms over these areas and that's the latest from our uh, graph set and as we look at our fast animation there you go you can see here slowly the, uh, the development of the LPA is somewhere here and you can see clearly the uh, southwest monsoon being enhanced by this low pressure system so that's the uh, wind direction from the southwest or the southwest monsoon and we have another LPA here uh, this is a weak LPA but there's nothing to worry about this other system it won't affect the Philippines as well now let's move to our latest zoom in satellite animation from windy.com this is from the UMET sat satellite feed and as you can see for the past six hours to the early evening lots of rainfall are occurring all across the Philippine Islands particularly along the western sections of Luzon Metro Manila, Southern Luzon, Bicol region Visayas, Palawan, and Mindanao brought about by the enhancement of the southwest monsoon and the southwesterly surface wind flow as the LPA starts to organize here to the northeast of Catanduanes. So we are going to observe that system through the weekend and watch out for storm watches or storm updates on this tropical low. And you can see here so many thunderstorms popping out across the uh, Philippine Islands bringing some heavy moderate to heavy to sometimes extreme rainfall across the Philippine Islands and as we look at our three-day wind rain and pressure forecast from the ECMWF model by tomorrow afternoon you can see the LPA likely to become a tropical depression and it's now over to the east of Kalayan Island group accelerating towards the north and you can see clearly here the southwest monsoon beginning to affect the western sections of the country particularly Metro Manila, Mindoro, Palawan and western Visayas as well as developing thunderstorms across northern sections of the zone because of the trough 
and also the southwest monsoon affecting portions of the Bicol region. So expect some on and off rainfall through the weekend until we reach Sunday. So to, on Sunday afternoon, the LPA or the uh, potential tropical depression is no longer at our picture. And it's now over southern Japan as it moves acceler as it accelerates rapidly towards the north. But on Sunday, you can still see the effects of the southwest monsoon affecting portions of the Bicol region, portions of western Visayas, becoming more frequent with on and off rainfall and thunderstorms across the western sections of Luzon, including northern Luzon. So watch out for possible flash floods and lightning strikes when it comes to these thunderstorms embedded within the southwest monsoon. While here, across Mindanao, we have the usual localized convective thunderstorms. On Monday, we could see here that the southwest monsoon is still affecting Luzon, particularly the western and northern portions of Luzon, including Metro Manila, so still some on and off rainfall will be expected come Monday afternoon. So that's it. That's the latest for the next three days here at our Tropical Weather Analysis video update. And uh, we will be returning again on Monday from Typhoon2000.com. This is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. Be hashtag TyphoonWiser. And thank you for watching our YouTube channel.